Hello everyone, I wanted to take the time this evening to show everyone how to program their uh, later model Ford F-Series pickup truck, Ford Ranger, uh, some of the Explorers, Mountaineers, or whatnot. Uh, basically, I want to show you a few of the basics first of all. Uh, notice right now I'm standing outside of my vehicle and every one of my door locks are unlocked at, the, at this moment in time. So I'm going to go and, and open up my car door and I'm going to sit down here in my driver's seat and close my door. And Right now, again, my door locks are still completely unlocked. You have to make sure that you do this step in order for this to work. What we're going to do is we're going to place the key into the ignition. First key point, this here is the off position. The run position is whenever my lights, my dash lights are going to light up. They're going to show the, uh, the oil light, the check engine light, and everything else. It's the position right before we actually start the vehicle. Okay, so now I'm sitting in my car. All of my door locks are unlocked. And what we're going to do here is we're going to hit the lock button on my door panel and then it unlock right away. My key's already in the ignition. We're going to go from off to run. Again, runs right here. All my dash lights on. Off, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very quickly. Notice my locks cycle up on their own automatically to let you know that you're in programming mode. Now, what we're going to do, as soon as that happens, we're going to get out your new Ford keyless entry remote. We're going to hit the lock button. Notice my locks cycle on their own. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the key back off. There goes my locks again cycling on their own to let you know that it's being programmed. So now we can take the key out of the ignition and we can try our new remote out. And what we're going to do is, it doesn't really matter whether you have the key in or out at this point because your remote's already programmed. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the lock button on the remote that we just programmed. And sure enough it works. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to make sure that all my doors are unlocked again. I'm going to show you how to program two remotes. And right there's the two remotes. And what we're going to do is, is, oh, let's go ahead and, uh, well, I'll go ahead and show you how to program the two remotes. But it's going to erase, it's going to erase this code right here from this remote. And it's going to have to actually, if you're going to program two remotes, you have to have them here together. Okay. Because once you go into programming a mode again, uh, it's going to erase the actual code from this, this remote. This remote will no longer work after uh, you program this second remote. So make sure you have both of them here, and I'll show you why here in just a moment. What we're going to do, again, all of my doors are unlocked. Okay, so I'm going to go through this quickly. The doors are unlocked, and we sit, open them up, and sit down here in the driver's seat, close the door. We're going to hit the lock button here, unlock button. Again, the key. We're going to go off, run, two, four, five. Six, seven, eight. There goes my locks. They cycle on their own. We're gonna press the lock button on this new remote. Then we're gonna press the lock button on this second remote. Now, both remotes are now into programming mode, and I have to do that. Then turn the key back. Locks go up and down. Now we'll try it again. Lock, unlock. Lock, unlock. They both work. Now I just want to get one remote programmed. So, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of the car, make sure that it's unlocked. Have my key right here. We don't want to lock our keys in the car, but what we're going to do is we're going to get into the car, open up the door, get into the car, sit down in the driver's seat, manually press the, well, put your key in the ignition, press the lock button, unlock button, get right over here, off, or up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There goes the locks again. Hit the lock button on this new remote. And we're going to turn the key back. And now we are programmed. Now look, this remote here works. This is why you have to have both remotes present whenever you do this. Because once you get programming into the car, into the programming mode, you have to have both remotes. Because if you don't, it's not going to allow you to program both remotes. So, I hope I answered anybody's questions, but this is exactly how to program your 1998 up Ford F-Series pickup or Ranger or many other vehicles. But if you have purchased a remote from me on eBay, thank you so much for your business. I greatly appreciate it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call me on the paper that it, uh, you know I emailed you or that I sent along with your uh, instructions. Or um, Feel free to email me. My email address is keyfobbit1 at hotmail.com. Just like my, uh, my user ID here for... Uh, YouTube. So uh, there's that. And then um, you also are more than welcome to check out my eBay listings. At, uh, my username for eBay is S 
as in Sam, Susan, Charlie, T-Bird, like the car T-Bird, then the number one. So if you need to get a hold of me, contact me through eBay as well. Again, thank you so much for your business, and please let me know if I can be of any help. I'm always happy to help any way possible. Thank you again and again. Have a great evening and the rest of the day. So